Hello creative people. Welcome back to my channel Live Your Dream. Today I'm going to talk about transfer techniques of patterns and designs on fabric for hand embroidery. So, you're having your design or pattern ready for embroidery? But you may be thinking about what's the best way to transfer it onto the fabric? Choosing the best method to transfer hand embroidery pattern is based on a variety of factors including the complexity of the pattern, the type of the fabric you want to stitch it on, fabric color, weight of the fabric, and what would be the final project. This may sound complicated if you aren't familiar with different transfer techniques, which is why I'll be presenting some options which will help you decide. Sometimes it simply comes down to trial and error method and decide on what you like the best. Some of the transfer techniques are direct drawing using pencil, direct tracing, tracing paper tacking, prick and pouncing method, light source method using window or light box, dressmaker's carbon paper method, transfer paper method, tracing wheel method, iron on transfer pencils and pens, water soluble fabric marker pencils and pens, iron on transfer paper designs. Water soluble stabilizer or stick and stitch stabilizer. We'll look into transfer techniques one by one in detail. First one, direct drawing using pencil. Drawing freehand sketches directly with the help of a pencil on the fabric stretched on the embroidery hoop is the easiest method of transferring the embroidery design. You can use silver pencil on dark fabrics. Direct tracing. If your fabric is fairly thin, you can transfer the design directly onto the fabric and mark the lines with a pencil. To transfer the design, tape or tack the pattern with the fabric. Make sure that you are able to see the design clearly through the fabric and trace. Tracing paper tacking. To use this technique, place the fabric on a frame and the design transfer paper on the fabric. Work running stitches along the line of the design through the paper and the fabric. Ensure to secure the back stitch to the fabric at the beginning and ending of the stitch. After the outline is done, pull the paper away gently. This is mostly used on textured fabrics like velvet, suede, felts and other piled fabrics which cannot be marked with any other method. Brick Pouncing Method Prick and pounce is a method of transferring an embroidery design by using a pattern that is pricked with tiny holes, placed on the fabric and then pounced all over with a powder that filters into the tiny holes, leaving tiny dots on the fabric. Steps for this method are Trace the design on a stiff butter or tracing paper using a pencil. With a medium-sized pointed sharp needle, Prick all along the outline of the design very closely. Place the pricked tracing sheet on top of the fabric and hold it firmly by keeping pattern weights. Damp a ball of cotton in diluted chalk powder in kerosene. If kerosene is not available, thinner also works well in diluting the chalk powder. Rub the cotton ball dipped in chalk powder on the pricked holes. A pounce pad can also be used with dry powder. Take off the paper. Remove the excess loose powder from the fabric. Connect the dots using the fine brush with watercolor to get the proper outline of the design. This is a much preferred method in commercial hand embroidery setups where they have to repeat the same design all over the fabric. Light source method using window or light box. Light source method using window in which transparent property of light is used to transfer the embroidery design onto the fabric. The simple method involves placing the fabric and design taped on a window pane against bright light. You can easily trace the design which will be visible through the lighted transparent window pane. Light box method is little more complicated method. Very convenient light table with LED lights behind are available, through which you can trace even the most complicated design on opaque cloths. 
Dressmaker's Carbon Paper Method Dressmaker's Carbon Paper is a wax-based transfer paper. This lightweight transfer paper is coated with pigment on one side that is specifically made for the use on fabrics as it can be washed out of the finished piece. Pigment from the transfer paper is pressed onto the fabric with a pen or stylus. This method does not reverse the image. The carbon paper comes in variety of colors such as white, yellow, red, blue or black and is useful for transferring onto different colored materials. You should be using the light colored sheet on dark colored fabric and vice versa for the design to be visible easily. Carbon paper can also be reused. Note: Do not get dressmaker's carbon confused with the regular office carbon. Office carbon gives smudge marks on the fabric. Transfer paper method. Transfer paper is a thin paper coated with wax. A heat press can transfer the image onto clothing, canvas, or any other surface. This is used in creating iron-on designs. Steps for using the transfer paper. Place the transfer paper on the design. Heat seal wax to the proper consistency. It should be warm throughout the process. Using a fine brush, draw outlines of the design with the warm wax. Allow it to dry. Place the wax side against the fabric and apply hot iron on the wrong side. This will transfer the design onto the fabric. Tracing wheel method. This method can be often used as it's very easy. Place the design on the fabric. Place the carbon sheet between the design and fabric. Run tracing wheel gently along the outline of the design. The teeth of the tracing wheel will make fine dotted lines on the fabric. Take off the design and draw over the outline with a pencil or water soluble pen. The only drawback in this method is the teeth of the tracing wheel may destroy the design sheet after one or two uses. It's better to make a copy of the original design before doing this. Iron on transfer pencils and pens. A heat transfer pencils, pen and heavy duty tracing paper uses the heat from an iron to transfer an embroidery pattern to fabric. An iron on pen is perfect if you want to transfer a very detailed design as the pen will be quite thin. You can use this method for both thicker and thinner fabrics as it's an on top transfer just like the carbon paper. Regular tracing paper will not work with an iron as it will be very thin and will burn. This process reverses the image. So you should always start with a flipped printed pattern. Place the flipped printed pattern on top of the fabric. Iron over it for the pattern to stick to the fabric. Just be sure to heat up the fabric before you start the process. The iron on pen doesn't wash off very easily. So be sure to trace the lines exactly the way you want. This method is better for filling embroidery stitches like satin stitch and heavier line stitches like the chain stitch. Water soluble fabric marker pencils and pens. These are tools designed specifically for marking the fabric, be it lines for quilting projects or some intricate embroidery designs. The markers which look like a regular pen use a non-permanent ink, normally of blue color, which can be removed with water when needed. Some markers have two sides. One creates thick lines and the other creates the finer lines. Great with light colored and lightweight fabrics. Works on any texture or weave. Iron on transfer paper designs. Hot iron transfer patterns come as ready to use pre-printed patterns, which means you can transfer the designs onto your fabric with a quick press of hot iron. They are normally printed in black, blue or gray ink. This process reverses the image. So you should always start with a flipped printed pattern. The pattern markings will be permanent, so be sure with accurate placement of the design. Steps to use these designs. Iron your fabric, 
Then place the pre-printed pattern facing down on the fabric. Press the back of the paper with the iron and hold it for few seconds without moving the iron. Lift the iron. Repeat this process if you have a large pattern. But always be careful not to slide the iron on the paper which may result in blurred or double lines. Remove the pressed pattern from the fabric. Pattern will be transferred onto the fabric. Water soluble stabilizer or stick and stitch stabilizer. When you are in a hurry to start a project, water soluble stabilizer is a perfect solution. This product comes both in pre-printed and plain version which you can print with your home printer, making it ideal for working with digital printers. When printing your own patterns, be sure to print it on draft mode, which uses less ink. This method requires soaking, so make sure that your fabric can be washed and your embroidery floss is color fast. You can use a stabilizer with a self-adhesive backing and stick it onto the fabric by peeling off the backing sheet. After embroidering through the fabric and stabilizer, soak the embroidery in warm water. The stabilizer dissolves away. Very convenient but slightly expensive. I'll be demonstrating the above mentioned transfer techniques in the upcoming videos. We'll look into other tools for hand embroidery in the next video. Please stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for much more. If you like this video, please do consider to like, share, subscribe and click on the bell icon below to get the notification on our next updates. Leave your comments on the comment section. Do follow us on Instagram.